Hi, welcome back to Mindful Monday. I'm Tiffany and I'm here every Monday to guide you through mindfulness and how to use that in your everyday life. So I figured since this is the week of Thanksgiving and we're all going to be eating, hopefully, our favorite foods and gathering with family and friends, then maybe we would talk about some mindful eating. Most of the time we're eating when we're stressed or we're rushing from one activity to the next. And this is physically challenging to our bodies because our bodies are using energy to hold tension and activate our stress responses. Our bodies digest food improperly because of this. And oftentimes this contributes to digestive issues and immune diseases. One of the first things that we can do, and it is the number one thing when we are eating mindfully, and it's so neglected in our society today, but that is to chew thoroughly. We need large amounts of saliva to aid in the digestion of our food and the absorption of all the nutrients from that food. So it's very important that we chew our food thoroughly. That way we can build up the saliva in our mouth and allow that saliva to do its job. And don't eat really fast. You don't want to chew super fast. Chew that food slowly to allow that saliva time to build in your mouth. Also, don't drink quickly. A lot of us like to have smoothies because of the nutrients and things in it, and we drink it super fast, and we hardly ever taste the flavor. So savor that flavor. Take your time. Even chew that smoothie. I know it sounds really weird. But when we chew that action in our jaw, it activates our saliva and we need that to absorb the nutrients from those smoothies. Another thing that we usually don't do is take time to appreciate and love our food. By intentionally loving our food and putting a positive intention with absorbing what we are eating, we are ultimately giving ourselves more energy from our food. Most of the time we do a lot of mindless eating. I mean, you see it everywhere. And this just means that we are detached from our food and our hunger indicators, and we're not present with our body or our food. We're just, we're just eating. Um, a lot of the time we are engaged with our friends we're on our phones and we're just putting things in our mouth. This isn't good for our bodies. You should aim to eat to live rather than living to eat. Sometimes we choose to eat and attempt to fill an emotional void. Um, sometimes we're not consciously choosing to eat. We're just eating because of the way that we're feeling. We simply find ourselves eating without intentionally choosing it. Instead of noticing hunger, we notice sadness or sometimes boredom. And because we naturally get a surge of dopamine when we eat, we're drawn to food. Eating makes us feel good. But there's a healthier way to achieve the same feeling other than mindless eating. When we eat while we do other things, we are also eating mindlessly. Many of us eat our lunch at our desk or while borrowing so, or browsing social media. And this is not eating mindfully. We become disconnected from the sensations of tasting and digesting. Mindful eating is partially about consciously choosing what you will eat. It's about listening to what your body needs and honoring that. So if you're hungry, eat. If you're not, then don't. It's important that you listen to those signals. Are you eating because you're bored or sad? Or are you eating because you actually need that energy? You need to listen to those cues. Another way of mindfully eating is when you choose a food, actually pay attention to it. Notice its texture. Notice its color. For example, if you choose a muffin, notice the colors in it. Is it red? Is it blue? Is it swirly? 
Is it polka dotted? Is it bumpy, round? Notice those things. Take the time to appreciate that muffin. Also appreciate the people that have prepared that food, including those who grew the ingredients that are in it. Also, um, notice the food when you're touching it. How does that feel? Notice it going into your mouth and with gratitude, as you slowly chew, notice the experience of every bite. Then intentionally choose when to swallow. Notice it traveling down your esophagus and into your stomach. Take your time to eat in a manner until you notice your stomach beginning to feel full. If you notice you are full before you finish eating, give yourself the opportunity to save the rest of the food for later when your body cues you that you are hungry again. Eating mindfully is something that we can do every single day. Eating can become a meditation when you sit down and refuel your body with food or a drink. So I would like to show you now what mindful eating meditation is like. Go ahead and get comfortable and if you would like, grab something to eat and we'll use that for this meditation. If not, that's okay, you can just see it in your mind's eye. So first notice when your body is signaling that you are hungry and take a few deep breaths. Notice these sensations and understand that they are hunger cues. Breathe and accept this feeling. Do not react by eating immediately when you notice hunger. Then choose to nourish yourself with healthy food. Become aware of the food choices you have. Notice the thoughts and feelings that come up as you consider these choices. Stop yourself and breathe. Make a choice that is lined with your body's needs. Based on your energy level, the intensity of hunger, and the activities planned for the day. And notice which choices arise only as emotional comfort. Prepare your food mindfully, or if the food is being prepared for you, consider the preparation of the food and visualize this process. In either case, consider how the food gives to you and how it gets to your plate. Consider where it came from and how. Now notice the features of the food. As you prepare your food, mindfully cut each vegetable or remove each wrapper with care and intentionality. Notice each sense as you smell, observe, and feel the food during preparation. Notice your mouth begin to salivate as you prepare to eat. Now sit down at a de designated place to eat and set your food in front of you and take a moment to connect with your meal. See the colors and the shapes of your food and set aside any distractions. Turn off the TV, put away your phone, sit comfortably but with good posture and connect with your breath and enjoy silence for a moment. Now place the first bite into your mouth and focus your awareness on your sense of smell, taste, and touch as the food touches your tongue. Begin to chew and continue to breathe. Chew all the food in your mouth thoroughly before choosing a time to swallow and try to create space between chewing and the intention to swallow. Try to transform swallowing from an unconscious reflex to an intentional process and stay present. Use your breath. If you are creating mental lists or are absent from the moment, 
unconscious patterns of eating will reemerge. Do not judge yourself if this happens. Just catch yourself and bring yourself back using your breath and the awareness of your senses. Check in with your body and check for signs of fullness. If your stomach feels three quarters full, then this is a good time to stop eating. Do not let the amount of food in front of you determine how much you eat. We don't have to eat everything on our plate. We just have to feel full. And let your body indicate what it needs and when it needs it. As you finish eating, notice the taste that lingers in your mouth. Notice the fullness in your body and notice any changes from previous meals and make a mental note of hunger and fullness cues that may be new to you. And continue to practice these for about 21 days and you'll start to notice that you'll feel more mindful and more full and you'll actually have more energy by practicing mindful eating. I hope that you enjoyed this mindfulness meditation as you enter into the Thanksgiving holidays and even on into other holidays and your daily eating. It is really important that we focus on the food that we're putting into our body, fueling it and giving it energy and nutrients and doing everything that we can to help that process. So by being mindful when you eat, you are accomplishing that. And it's going to be hard at first, just like anything that we try. But keep at it and don't give up. And join me again next week for more mindfulness. Namaste.